32, question number 11. Are there any outliers in the data set in question number 6? Show your calculations. So here's the data from question number 6. And outliers are data points that are either much higher or much lower than the rest of the data. So immediately we take a look at our list and we see if there's any, uh, any values that stand out such as, okay, 22 is the highest data point, 11 is the lowest data point, but are they significantly higher or lower than the rest of the data? Well, to figure that out, we need to know uh, a few things. To find an outlier, to find outliers, what we do is we take our quartiles. So there's two ways we could do this. At our lower quartile, minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. That will give us a value that any number lower than that value would be an outlier. Now on the upper end, we could take the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. That will give us a value, and anything higher than that value would be an outlier. Okay, so we need to find a few things. We need to find these quartiles. We need to find this inner quartile range. So I'm going to get my calculator out here. There it is. And I'm just going to put my data into a list by pressing my stat key, hitting enter. And I've got my data in that list already. Now, once the data is in a list, we can press our stat key and calculate one variable stats on the data in that list. Now, this is just a shortcut way for me to find those quartiles right away. So, for example, it tells me Q3 is 18. That's the upper quartile. Q1 is 13.5. That's the lower quartile. So let's go ahead and do our calculations here. So 13.5 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. Now the inner quartile range is the difference between our quartiles. So if we subtract those numbers, we get a value of 4.5. Now once we do this calculation, anything lower than that number would be an outlier. Same thing on this end. So I'm going to just run through everything here right away as well. So this one's going to be the upper quartile, 18, plus 1.5, times, again, the inner quartile range, which is still 4.5. OK. So let's take care of these calculations. So I'm going to type in here 13.5 minus 1.5 times 4.5. And this tells me that any value in my list lower than 6.75 is an outlier. Now, it does not mean that 6.75 is an outlier. It means anything lower than this would be an outlier. Notice there's nothing in my list lower than that number. So there are no outliers on the low end. Let's do the same calculation. So back to my calculator. Same calculation for the outliers on the upper end. And this gives me a value of 24.75, meaning any number in my list higher than 24.75 is an outlier. Notice again, there are no numbers higher than that. So this means that there are no outliers at all. So careful, these numbers here are not my answers. My answer is really numbers that are more extreme than these two values. Since we don't have any numbers more extreme than those values, we have no outliers.